Vodafone Group, uh, the goal of the partnership was to really be able to enable mobile banking. The concept is that there's a lot of people who don't want to walk into a branch to actually go into a bank office to avail, uh, to avail of banking facilities. So somehow the goal was to be able to allow people to use their mobile phones to send and receive payments and perform banking operations. So to do that, they partnered with uh, Vodafone and uh, created this mobile banking product. Obviously, given the fact that you can have millions of subscribers joining in, uh, if this could be made a successful a launch or a successful sort of product, it would be a game changer for uh, Central Bank traffic. And as we're going to learn, that's what it was. Uh, to give you a quick idea of the results, there's, there's access to 17 million of subscribers, uh, uh, Safaricom subscribers. That was uh, the potential market for CBA. So the challenge, the challenge was to launch the product uh, as quickly as possible. The idea was, uh, was germinated in June, July of last year. They wanted to launch in three to five weeks from the rate of conceptualization, uh, which uh, is uh, typically an extremely difficult and challenging task because to integrate mobile ba mobile sort of platform with a core banking solution is not a particularly trivial task. So, yeah, obviously the goal was to eliminate the need to walk into a branch. So wherever you are on your mobile phone, wherever, whichever part of the country, in a remote area, you can still avail of banking facilities. And uh, the idea was to integrate the core banking system, which is Terminus, T24, with uh, the mobile banking platform in addition to uh, to other to other Safari Comms products, essentially. So, uh, so the, the idea was to perform this integration, and uh, at the same time, the goal was to streamline the, the bank's internal core banking integration of uh, integration processes, rather than having point-to-point -point integrations where there were specifically programmed interfaces. The idea was to create a sort of bus type architecture with enterprise service class so that uh, new applications could be simply plugged into the system. Right? Obviously, uh, this involves, as uh, all of you can imagine, significant hardware, software, and consulting efforts uh, to, to sustain, obviously, a large number of users. So what was the solution? Uh, the bank chose Fiorano ESP as the platform after conducting a brief survey. Uh, the system has a peer-to-peer -peer architecture which allows all kinds of scalability, uh, but that's something we'll cover later. The core concept behind the integration was to expose the mobile system uh, via web services and then to integrate the T24 using the Fiona platform. And at the lower level, messages were performed instant, moved around asynchronously over the Fiona and the message bus, which is a generous compliance messaging platform. Asynchronous messaging offers several benefits uh, over program synchronous interfaces, including scalability, linear scalability, and performance. So there were two kinds of service flows, synchronous to provide an immediate response, where uh, you have to wait until you get the response, and that typically the response has to be within a few seconds. And an asynchronous sort of uh, service flow where it's a fire and forget. You send the message off internally, and it gets processed and routed to the proper destinations. And that's an area where Fiorano has been a pioneer for over 15 years. And the Fiorano ESP is a fully asynchronous distributed backbone. And uh, it's important to understand that you can build synchronous flows on top of an asynchronous base, but not the other way around. And this is one of the key reasons why integration is very expensive, because most integration platforms uh, essentially have a synchronous core, 
and to try to do asynchronous work on top of that, which makes it very, very challenging indeed. So to give you a pictorial sort of representation, you have the Saricon on the left, um, all kinds of operations that people want to perform, like deposits, getting a kind of statement, activations, loan applications, etc. And all of this has to be done over the mobile phone. Essentially, all of these operations get exposed as web services, and then the Fiorano SOS platform and the ESP manages these service flows, the full processes, and performs the required operations to communicate with the terminal score banking platform to get the whole job done. So, why did CDA choose the product? Number one, quick launch. It was, uh, the launch was actually performed, believe it or not, in, in five weeks. Uh, there was a little bit of extra testing effort, but essentially by, by October the process was in production. October was November, and then the whole conceptualization was in August, so it was very quick indeed. The integration processes were built very, very quickly. Uh, it's typically half the programmers, half the time. That was the uh, typical measure. So the amount of time that it takes or took to get the job done was significantly lower. So it was a 4% uh, savings in consulting efforts. Most of you will understand that the biggest issue in integration is the amount of work that needs to be done, any product can get the job done. It's simply a question of how much time you spend on getting the job done and how many people you've got to hire to get the job done. So this doesn't mean that there's no services work when the Fiorano platform is used. What it means is that for the same budget, you can get four times the amount of work done. So the productivity levels are a lot higher. It's a zero coding environment. Uh, there are APIs and interfaces and and code-based interfaces that, uh, that are available if people want to get into the details, but essentially, all of the components are pre-built, and you drag, drop, and connect systems to create flows and processes. And that's why the job was uh, completed in less than five weeks, and the actual flow development only took two weeks. Three weeks was spent on testing, actually. Terranos actually has created T24 in and out adapters to the Fiorano platform, so those are available. The system scales very easily, so as the number of users goes up, the system will simply scale linearly. In fact, because of its asynchronous architecture, the system doesn't even have to be brought down to add more capacity. It's sort of... Uh, Elastic scalability, like like a, like a cloud type of situation. The interface is uh, is reasonably easy, and the system can handle uh, a significant number of transactions. Uh, in this particular situation, the number of messages uh, is is lower than 20 million, but uh, the system scales very very easily to to a number that's well beyond that. So, what was the uh, the result? Uh, the, the comment uh, speaks for itself. The owners and critical enabling the speed and efficiency at which we've been able to roll out this innovative product and handle the unexpectedly large volume of transactions and data. Uh, results exceeded expectations in the first 30 days. There were over a billion shillings of transactions in the first month after the launch. Uh, so there we are. It's it was essentially a very, very successful launch and a very successful integration effort, and just an overall incredibly successful business. Uh, as a next step, the CBA is looking to expand its services to other countries uh, using the plan, using the same platform, obviously. And uh, with that, uh, just just to recap, so the big advantage here was the speed at which the integration was done. It was uh, almost completely bug-free. There was uh, the three weeks of testing. It was production ready. And the cost of uh, getting the job done, the original estimate, the original estimate for consulting was six, six months of, of uh, several more programmers. 
and the job was done by two programmers in less than five weeks. So just to give you an idea of the productivity. Once again, if you're with a consulting company, that doesn't mean you need to get a little worried. All it means is that, all it means is that, uh, you've got to, you, you get a lot more productivity. So with that, I'm going to pass the ball on now to, uh, to John Schlesinger. Uh, Abhishek, can you go ahead and pass the ball to John Schlesinger, please? John, you have the ball now. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much, uh, Abhishek. Thank you, Atul. So, my name is John Schlesinger. I, I'm the Chief Enterprise Architect for Temenos. Um, we are a banking software company. So, we provide the banking capability that CBA Kenya uses to satisfy the Mshwari and PESA requests. Um, Next slide. Yeah, um, can we have the next slide? You have to go to the mouse over, John, and, and, and say it's good the next page. There's sort of a small panel there. Uh, okay, uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Uh, so where's the next slide, Arrow? Uh, if you just mouse over, the, the box comes up on the top. It says, child, there's a small arrow on the, on there, right? <laughs> John, you just click on the slide and then uh, press the uh, space bar. Try that. Space bar. Okay. Okay, that did it. Thanks. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry about that. that. Yeah. Uh, the space bar did it. Um, so uh, w when we install uh, our application for core banking at a bank, uh, typically uh, about 40% of the implementation effort now is involved in doing the interfacing. So whereas when we first started installing the software, it would be five or six interfaces, we're now at 50 or 60 interfaces. And for some of the bigger banks, uh, we're talking about 300 interfaces to the, t to the core banking platform. So a very large part of the implementation of the banking platform is interfacing. So uh, two years ago, we started on a new approach to uh, integration where instead of doing data extracts at end of day, we would use uh, real-time messaging for doing the integration between T24 and other systems. Uh, and we knew we'd need a partner for the out-of-the-box solution, and we chose Pirano to be that partner. Um, so, uh, although we do support uh, IBM Oracle and Microsoft platforms, for our out-of-the-box platform and the solution we recommend to customers who have no other preference, we chose the Fiorano solution. So, uh, the integration challenges are about what we call the semantics of the, of the, uh, in, of the integration. So, if we send a message from uh, T24 to the uh, MPESA gateway, uh, the problem that the integration consultant has is mainly about making sure that the right part of the T24 message goes to the right part of the MPESA interface. And that is a semantic problem. Uh, and that, that is the problem of incompatible data formats at the source and target. Um, but also, uh, financial transactions um, don't usually go to just one place. They have side effects in multiple different parts of the bank. So being able to send the message to more than one place in more than one format is also very important. Uh, and uh, those are both problems that are solved by this approach that we took with CBA Kenya and the Fiorano solution. Um, let's say a little bit about Temenos. Um, we are, uh, we've been around for, uh, since 1993. We are the leading uh, core banking uh, software vendor in the world. Uh, we are in the, uh, the leading quadrant in Gartner and in the Forrester Wave. And IBS um, have declared us to be the leading banking solution for, as it says there, for over 10 years. Uh, what we're very proud of is that banks that use our software have a lower cost uh, to income ratio and are more profitable than their peers. 
So using our banking software makes banks more profitable. And that's because banks typically spend up to 20% of their um, uh, costs on IT. So we are uh, in the business of making banks more profitable. Um, I mentioned before that we started two years ago with developing the uh, integration framework. So this is an event-driven approach to integration. The idea is that a business transaction is a business event and that can be represented as a message. So our integration framework is about presenting those events as they occur to the uh, Firano uh, Enterprise Service Bus. So that the Firano Enterprise Service Bus can um, transform them uh, and route them to all the destinations that those messages need to go to. So that supports the many-to-many -many integration between as different aspects of the bank's information system. Because we're doing this uh, in near real time, it means that um, the system can react to change, the bank's overall information system can react to change immediately, not wait till end of day. And because we're doing all this data movement during the day, not at the end of day, uh, we uh, greatly increase the flexibility and reduce the cost of running the bank. Um, so, uh, but going from an end of day approach to a near real time approach using asynchronous messaging with Firano increases efficiency, uh, reduces cost, costs, and greatly improves flexibility. Uh, as uh, Atul mentioned before, the uh, essential aspect of this is that we've written with Firano a specific uh, T24 adapter. So the T24 adapter runs both at design time and at run time. At design time, the T24 adapter can introspect the T24 system and pick up all the interfaces available from that system. So the user can search T24 at design time, find the event or system interface they want, and then uh, we download to Fiorano the XSD describing that interface. So that can either be an event, a message that's uh, sent in, uh, uh, when, when a transaction occurs, or uh, for getting stuff out of T24 for being triggered, uh, or it can be an interface where you put something into T24 or get more information. And all of that is available through the custom adapter. Uh, and the, the only way to get at the introspection is through the custom adapter. Uh, then at runtime, the adapter pulls our event table and uh, can pick up new events and uh, send, develop and send messages to our other systems uh, in near real time uh, shortly after the events have occurred. So that's the way that we notify external systems of business events that occur in T24. Uh, this works, as Atul said, both ways. We can pull T24 for events and we can also be triggered by an external event and use that to put an event into T24. So business events can start in T24 and go out to M-PESA, or they can start in M-PESA and come into T24. Uh, because this is all asynchronous, it's extremely scalable. Uh, if the business events were synchronous, uh, this wouldn't scale nearly as well. And that turned out to be crucial uh, because the uh, CBA Kenya found that the take-up of their offering was about five times greater than they expected. If we hadn't scaled, well, we would have been a bottleneck, and that would have stopped the service growing. As it was, um, uh, we didn't stop the service growing, um, and the uh, middleware scaled beautifully up to millions of messages a day. So, uh, in short, uh, it would have been impossible for uh, CBA to have implemented this interface in the timescales they wanted. And had they not implemented in the timescales they wanted, uh, they would probably have missed the boat on becoming the de facto provider of these services in Kenya. Um, so uh, uh, the CIO at CBA told me 
that with, without this partnership with, between Temenos and uh, Fiorano, he thinks the integration, the, the whole service would have been impossible to launch. So, reducing the time, the integration time by 80% is almost beside the point. So this was the difference between the interface being feasible or not feasible. Uh, this slide is a diagram of how the uh, integration works. So, uh, the red bit in the middle is our product, T24. Uh, and when a transaction commits, uh, which is item one in the middle, uh, you can see that we update an interface table with the event. At this point, we can run a flow to put any uh, significant data into the event. So, for example, if you need to know the balances at the time of the transaction, we can put those into the event. Uh, and this is all done as part of the business transaction. So, uh, you get a consistent snapshot of data at the time of the event. Uh, we offer two... Uh, possibilities for getting the events out of the interface table. On the left, 2A is an event delivery service, and that is for banks that don't have a custom adapter. On the right, 2B is the way we work with Firano, where we've written a custom adapter, and the adapter pulls the interface table. So that means that a flow is triggered in Firano, and that flow is given the data from the interface table, and that's all done without any code. That's all done codelessly. Uh, so then a flow runs in the Fiorano middleware that transforms the message and routes it to the appropriate destination. So that's, those are the three stages. Stage one, a transaction uh, commits and triggers uh, uh, an event in the interface table. Two, the Fiorano adapter picks up that event and triggers a flow. And three, that flow runs in uh, Fiorano ESB and sends a message to another destination or one or more destinations. So the partnership of T24 and our integration framework with the Fiorano middleware uh, provides a seamless code-free integration for our customers and Fiorano's customers. Uh, we have an out-of-the-box integration solution uh, which offers uh, extremely attractive um, capability to the banks, uh, vastly exceeding the capability we offered them before we had the integration framework and before we had the partnership. Um, uh, as important as the product is the deal, so we, we offer extremely flexible uh, commercial offering, uh, commercial terms, to the banks, uh, making it possible then to do uh, integration at much lower cost. Um, and as we proved at CBA, the team set up between CBA, Temenos and Fiorano um, uh, developed uh, the solution in record time but with great reliability, great quality, uh, and uh, we at Temenos are extremely happy with our partnership with Fiorano for integration. So I'm now going to hand back over to uh, uh, Atul, who will take you through uh, why um, uh, why Fiorano. So for the asynchronous platform. So just to go over some of the main issues and benefits again, uh, the key the key aspect is not just the asynchronous nature of the Fiorano platform, but also the fact that it's uh, it's built on a peer-to-peer -peer architecture that scales very linearly, so you can add computational resources very easily. Most systems have a hub and spoke architecture, and if you want to scale, you need to add another full hub, which is a very expensive proposition. So, the peer-to-peer -peer nature of the platform makes a significant difference. Uh, just to go over some of the simple technical features, the, 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 the interface is just a single interface, so the learning curve is very shallow. It is wide, but it is quite shallow. There are full audit trails, among many other technical features, to support the guaranteed message delivery, code free adapters. We've already gone over the scalability benefits. 
etc. And that's what makes the system uh, much more agile. For mobile integration, there's a, there's a comprehensive set of adapters for financial systems, such as fixed, swift, etc. Uh, there's real time as well as batch processing adapters to other middleware platforms such as MQCs and even TIPCO. Uh, significant security protocol implementation so that uh, you have a very secure, especially in a B2B context, you know, it has a new B2B platform as well, uh, error handling. So there are lots of technical features which uh, uh, can be discussed offline, actually, if there's interest on our website. So what can you do with Fiorano? You can bring new channels up very quickly, launch new products quickly, which is uh, the whole idea, to, to, get a, to get competitive advantage. Business managers can actually get a view of the business processes, uh, and while they may not be able to order them themselves, it's very easy for them to understand what the process does and to make changes by suggesting the changes to the technical people. Customization is very, very easy and quick. You can change one part of your integration system without affecting other running parts because of the asynchronous nature of the system. A migrant to the next generation of service-oriented solutions, which are essentially based on fully asynchronous core. Uh, although, although all vendors are going to claim that they can do asynchronous uh, computing. The fact is that the core tools are very synchronous. So to get asynchronicity into their systems, you have to spend a tremendous amount of effort, programming effort each time, because the systems don't support asynchronicity negatively. They just give you a JMS survey, you've got to program everything from scratch. So there's a Although the products all look the same from an interface standpoint, they are not really the same. This is very important to understand. So you can scale very, and, and most important point is, especially in the banking world, as you add more users, you're going to have to scale very linearly, and that can uh, only happen with, this, with an asynchronous peer-to-peer platform. Just to give you a very quick overview of Fiorano, the company was founded in 95. 95 has been around for a while. The products are, are significantly tested and very mature. It's a California company with a global presence. Uh, and has helped uh, many leading banks innovate their core banking systems. So these are some of the examples of the institutions that use Fiorano. And I think that with that, we can open it up to questions. The Sienko Ikabi of CD is now uh, online and will be available to answer questions about the bank's implementation. So uh, I believe, Ravi Sheikh, we can open it up for questions now. Yes. Um, uh, Sienko, uh, would you like to say a couple of words before we open up to the Q&A session? Um, yes, good day to everyone. Um, my name is Sienko, as uh, Tool and Abhishek have uh, mentioned. Uh, I would like to apologize, actually, for joining this uh, session later. I uh, had a bit of a challenge uh, joining the call. Um, this presentation was uh, prepared uh, with uh, Fioran and ourselves in mind, and um, I will be able to take some of your questions during the Q&A session. Thank you. Okay. Um, you can all type in your questions at, at the Q&A box available at the bottom right-hand side of your screen. I can see that some of you have already typed in your questions. I will read these questions out and the respective panelists will answer them to you. The first question is, um, what are the key differentiators of Fiorano vis-a-vis -vis the other vendors? Atul, do you like to talk about this question? 
Uh, I, I think one of the things Sienko uh, answer from is because they use the platform rather than uh, rather than you know, I want to talk about it. Sienko, you want to take a shot of that? Yes, um, I think for us uh, it's been mentioned, I believe, by Atul and uh, John as well. Um, the main differentiator is actually the ease of use and um, enabling codeless integration. We were able to apply Fiorano in our environment in a relatively short time, and uh, although this tool had been recommended to us by uh, Terminal, our developers were able to get up to speed quickly and be able to do the development in the short time frame that we had. Um, the other thing is, um, which uh, I would say is a big differentiator for Fiorano, is um, there, is a, there was a lot of help that we got from uh, Fiorano themselves uh, with an architect on site which I think uh, if we had, um, we would have struggled with the other vendors because uh, we've used other integration platforms before and the help you get from the vendor is uh, not that easy. Thank you, Sianko. So the next question is, how easily can we replace already existing interface without disrupting operation of the bank? John, um, I think you're the best person to answer this. Okay, so uh, I think there are two different cases here. One case is where you already have uh, event-driven architecture and you want to move from one middleware technology to another. Uh, and I think that's relatively straightforward uh, so long as you've isolated the endpoints properly, uh, if you've, which is always the best practice at banks. Um, the second case is where you are moving from uh, doing your interfaces at the end of day to doing them in near real time. So in that case, you, you have to... Uh, develop the new interfaces and decommission the, the old ones. Uh, and I, I think this is much more compelling because you accrue all these benefits that we mentioned during the call. Uh, you get near real time instead of having to wait till the next day. You get the ability to fan out the message to multiple destinations so you do much less work. And you reduce your close of business processing so you, you give yourself back time uh, at end of day for getting your close of business done. So I think it's very easy to move from uh, written end of day uh, batch interfaces to near real time uh, uh, asynchronous interfaces. I, I think moving from one EFC to another is, is a bigger problem uh, and has less benefits. Uh, so you'd only do that if there was a compelling reason to do it. Thank you, John. So, the next question is, um, is, it visual is it visual configuration like drag and drop? Yes, it is, very much so. Always has been. Not only that, but the visual configuration, all systems will give you visual configuration. But the honor's visual configuration is natively asynchronous. That means that when I connect one object on a screen to the other, that connection is an asynchronous message queue automatically. There's no synchronous, centralized server with some kind of depth type language that's doing all sorts of weird things. It's just message queuing. It's as if you Native implemented all the message queues yourself, it's just that the owner does it for you in, uh, that, on the fly. So that makes a massive difference. That's the, once you understand this, you realize that it makes a lot of difference. Unfortunately, when you're looking at other ESPs, the sales guys will tell you can draw line A to B and say, that's a message queue, it isn't. This is the whole point. You, you, you look at this stuff. A, arrow, B. That arrow means something very different in this talk than it does in Tirano. This is a, a very critical and important point to understand. The semantics of the arrows 
When there is synchronous BTEL style semantics, the result in a very difficult synchronous integration. It takes a tremendous amount of time to debug, and that's why integration takes six to eight months with 50 programmers. That's the problem. Thank you, Otto. Let's move on to the next question. Quadis asks, as our bank is trying to implement Auth Mobile, does this mean that we do require some kind of middleware? What is the implica implication of this middleware or, uh, on the hardware requirement? John? Um, so yes, uh, if you do asynchronous message passing during the day, you will need to install uh, some extra middleware, which is the Purano ESB. But, but, but the amount of work you do in total uh, will probably go down. Because what happens when you run Purano is as soon as the event occurs, the event table uh, is updated, and then Purano distributes the message. If instead you run a close of business process, uh, then you may find that you're reading the database time and time again for the same information for different point-to-point -point interfaces. So I believe that overall you do more work doing the batch end-of-day interfaces. So the overall hardware requirement is greater uh, doing, doing interfaces the old way than is doing it the Fiorano way. Uh, but, of course, what we're doing is we're, we're having a more efficient in it, in, uh, overall system, but we're, used, we're doing that by having more intelligent software. So you pay for uh, the Fiorano ESD and its support, uh, by, but that uh, results in you having an overall reduction in the amount of processing you do in total. Thanks, John. Um, I think we, there's another question for you. Does it have a library of all C24 APIs, and can, ex can they expose these as web services? Uh, yes, is the answer. So uh, at what, the way it works is that when you bring up the Pirano design tool, which is written to run in Eclipse, uh, the, the design tool uses the adapter to go to the T24 system and list all the available interfaces. So those, are, those interfaces include all the events you've configured, they include uh, all the uh, versions and inquiries that you've configured, all the applications that we supply and their interfaces, all the components that we've supplied, and all the uh, uh, batch jobs, TSA services that have been configured. So every single uh, interface to Terminal T24 is exposed uh, via that introspection. So you can add new versions, you can add new inquiries, you can add new uh, services, uh, and you can introduce your own components even. They will all turn up dynamically with that introspection. Now, now, there is Terminos Web Services available, so you can turn any version or inquiry into a Terminos Web Service. But if you use, if you use Terminos Web Services, it's a raw web service. As Atul described, if you use Fiorano, you can expose any T24 interface as a web service through Fiorano, and you can use the Fiorano flows to uh, enrich those, uh, those web services. So you have a choice for a web service in T24, either use TWS or use Fiorano. But for event-driven, Fiorano uh, is the only solution, unless you use other BSP. Thanks, John. We have a lot of questions flowing in. So the next, we'll move on to the next question. Is the product fully plug and play to T T24, or does it require some customization on the T24 installation side? Plug and play. Absolutely plug and play, yeah. The next question is, is Piano Solution viewed as replacement for T24 inward outward delivery mod module? And if so, do Gemnos plan to decompose delivery from related modules? Uh, okay, that's a, very, that's a very good question. So delivery is specific to uh, payment uh, um, formats, like 
SWIFT, um, UNIFY, and ISO 8583. And we have an intention of replacing delivery uh, with uh, the integration framework uh, by supporting those uh, interfaces in our model bank using uh, Fiorano. So, so the aim is, yes, replace delivery with Fiorano uh, or, or the IBM, Microsoft, and IBM uh, uh, um, ESBs um, in the future. But that work has not yet been done. We're still working on that in Model Bank. Thanks, John. Uh, the next question will be, um, is Fiorano solution viewed as replacement for T24? Oh, sorry, that's the origin. That's Sorry, the next question is, as the testing time is said to be only three weeks, what kind of test did you do to be able to certify that it is okay to go live? Did you have multiple products, product types defined? Is there a possibility of touching, launching a particular product, launching a particular product once and then continue introducing products and hence do a testing when, whenever we do that? Okay, um, I think actually the question is in two parts, so I'll probably start with the first one. Yeah. The product that we did in the first phase was a simple uh, product. There were about uh, six web service operations that mapped to uh, corresponding operations in T24. So with that, and uh, these, um, these um, versions in T24 had already been tested. And actually John had touched on this before when he was talking of TWS. We had the option of going with TWS, but um, the interface in terms of the web service definition language we still, that was agreed between ourselves and our partner was um, very it was um, it, it did fit within the TWS uh, framework, so we were more or less changing how the services are exposed rather than the internal functionality within T24. So I think that answers the question in terms of uh, testing. The tests were more related to the new exposed web services rather than the core functionality within T24. Now, to answer the second part, um, we actually are continuing to add more products and services to this web service, and uh, in fact, as we speak, we are currently doing the second phase of development of the product, and this will still be delivered through the Fiorano ESP. Thank you, Sianka. The next question is... Could you please answer if there is any Fiano solution for mobile banking? Fiorano is an integration platform, so Fiorano can be used to integrate an existing mobile banking solution with a core banking platform. Typically, the integration points are web services, or it could really be, you know, a piece keeper in any program. It could be a file, it could be a web service, it could be an API. Fiorano provides multiple options for integration and multiple interfaces. You can write an interface, custom write an interface in Java, C, C++, or C Sharp, or even a script, and connect systems together. So Fiorano does not by itself offer a mobile solution or mobile banking solution. Uh, the core functionality, but we can integrate any mobile banking solution with a core banking platform. Thank you, Arthur. Um, looks like we are almost towards, towards the end of the session, except for one last question. How can one partner with Chiano to be implementing the solution in West Africa? Arthur? We have a team that works in West Africa for an active region for us. So the idea is simply get in touch with this team. And uh, for that, uh, it's best to get in touch with business development up here and understand uh, what the options are. Uh, whether you're looking at depends on 
whether the, per, the person asking the question is an end user or a seller or a partner, and, and there are options for all three. So it is a very key area of focus uh, for Fiorano, uh, whether it's uh, in, in all of Africa, and then West Africa definitely is, uh, is a core focus area because it's a very fast growing part of the world. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you all for your question. I know we might have missed some questions. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. Our sales representatives will get in touch with you for any further clarification. Alternatively, you can also email us at sales at piano.com if you want to see, or you can call us on the numbers displayed on the screen. Or send the additional questions directly to Abhishek. Abhishek, you can send your email address to everybody and then we'll get back to you and you can answer the questions offline. Yes, we can do that too. Alright? Alright, thank you all for attending and making this a success. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thanks, uh, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye bye.